Uh, this is a really old winch. It's an old uh, super winch that's probably 25 years old and it does not have a brake. <clears throat> if yours has a brake, it will stop it wherever, so I really don't have to use the motor to put it down because there's no brake on this and it'll pull it down on its own. And basically it's just seat belt material wrapped around the uh, spring tensioner and wrapped around the uh, drum of the winch. And when it pulls it in, it twists this and winds these side cables up. And then when it goes down, those wind this back up onto the spool. This is a weatherproof outlet box. Put a, a double pull, double throw switch in there. Then once it's up, I just push it, latch it. Sometimes it won't start, but if I just uh, bump the button down. can see this bends a little so you need to keep it over as far as you can. I put it over as far as I could because of the way this motor was. I guess I could have flipped it around put it over a little bit farther but uh, I put this piece of aluminum in here to just because I had it to mount the winch to you know between a couple beams. Then this is an old-fashioned winch. It just has two wires. You flip them one way to go up and you flip them the opposite way to go down. That's why I have a double pull, double throw switch mounted right down over there. That's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Winch is fed off of a battery that I have in the front of the trailer with a battery tender on it. That's about it. Like I said, the wires run up. Back to the back of the trailer.